crack the mysteries of the Earth. Discover the energy that drives a planet and builds mountains. Uncover buried treasure and see what makes mountains blow. Find out what shapes the top of the Earth and explore the secret world below with me, Nick, on the rocks. Barely half an hour from Ellensburg, Rob Reppin is still finding gold in a mine more than a century old. I met him when he took one of my classes that's open to the public. It turned out that my student also had a lot to teach me. He gave me a tour of the old mine he's been reworking. This is some of the work of the Chinese miners that were in here a hundred years ago. No kidding. The Chinese were, for the most part, better, uh, probably more diligent than most you know, white miners. Very impressive work. So the conditions, although they were outstanding miners, the conditions were pretty tough. They were in here with candles. And you're looking for stuff left over by the old timers. Yeah, we spent a lot of time uh, just cleaning out some of their old tunnels because yeah. we figured they left about 25%. We will break this bedrock up yeah. and get to the bottom of many cracks that might have gold in. So there's not gold everywhere here. Our pay layer is two feet above bedrock and a foot into the bedrock. The rest is all waste material. It doesn't pay to try to process it. And of course, all the good heavy stuff is on the bedrock or in the cracks of the bedrock. Outside the mine, Rob showed me some of his gold. I'll pour them out so you can see them here. This is typical of Liberty Gold, the placer that's now, Millions of years ago, a unique combination of conditions resulted in the buried treasure he's uncovering. <laughs> I can't believe this weight. Basalt lava burst through shale. Sedimentary rock deposited in a vast inland lake. Red, white, and blue. I'm all ears. Red, white, Re and blue. Red is the uh, basalt intrusive. Okay. White is the calcite. Okay. And or quartz. And blue is the bluish black shale. Those three, in very specific conditions related to each other, will precipitate out the crystalline wire gold. All the gold in Liberty originated as wire gold. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. Where is the gold coming from? The solution is coming from way deep. Gold has an affinity for carbon. So why do we need the red? Why do we need that's that the basalt? Heat source. So the gold is being moved by hot fluids along Originally. the margin of that basalt. Originally, yes. All the heavy gold has settled down to the bedrock that that river gravel tumbled over the top right. of. Right. The panning is more for fun now, or do you pan at the last stage? You always of... come down to a pan. In you... the end, it always comes down to a pan. Can you show me how to do that? Yeah, you bet. You got some pans? Yeah, I, got, got... I got some dirt over here with gold in it. I'll show you how. So check it out. Not many people do it correctly. I pan very aggressively. Panning is never a swirling motion. Mm-hmm. Panning is the pan tipped downhill just slightly, yeah. a side-to-side -side motion. The gravel is moving, so it's liquefied. The gold is sinking to the bottom. Yep. The top layer slides out. The gold is still down in that corner. Everything else slid right. over the top of it. So right now, any gold that's in this pan is right exactly in this bottom corner. And you do truly have a corner. So yeah. these have a nice little corner lip in the bottom. Okay. All right. If you want to get down to the last few crumbs right. of perfectly Ooh, clean gold. I just saw something. Then it's done with a pan. Uh, I believe this is what's known as pay dirt. Just kidding. This, yeah. That's what you call it. Oh my God, look at that. Nice. Okay, and let's see what a piece of gold sounds like. There's that sound. There's that sound. That's really cool. Gold just up the road. That's geology. There's excitement there. And there's more to come. Thanks for sharing some of that excitement with us.